Welcome back to Ten Alley Gaming. Today we have a brutal game between Lizardman and uh, Britannia. I'm fielding Britannia and this is my army. It's led by a Britannia Lord. He has the Gromring Great Helm and Ogre Blade. I also have a level 4 Prophetess. She has, she has the Chalice of Melfleur and the Ruby Ring of Ruin. Then I have a Damsel, level 2. Uh, she only carries the Dispel Scroll. Also have a Paladin BSB. He has the Enchanted Shield and Dawnstone. And uh, another Paladin. Uh, he has the Gauntlet of the Duel and the uh, Lance of Artois and Dragon Helm. For core I have 9 nine Knight Errants with full command and errantry banner. Then I have 11 Knights of the Realm. Uh, they have full command and standard of discipline. Another 11 Knights of the Realm. They have the full command and the Twilight banner. Then I also have two units of 10 bowmen. They have uh, defensive stakes. Uh, two trebuchet for rare and also nine grail knights. They have fu full command and uh, banner of defense. That's my 2400 points of Britannia. And for spells, my level four of life uh, rolled up Throne of Vines, Awakening of the Wood, The Dwellers Below and uh, Flesh to Stone. My level two of beast, took Wizard's Wild Form and uh, the Amber Spear. Okay, this is my 2400 point Lizardman, a uh, Lord Croak list. So starting with the special characters. Lord Croak, as my Lord choice, he has his standard equipment, Golden Death Mask, and he's a level 4. And then I have a Scar Veteran, uh, he's my BSB. He has Biting Blade, Glittering Scales, and the other tricks to shard. Then we have one Skink Priest, level 1. He has a Lore of Beasts, and he rolled up uh, Bison's Wild Form. He also has the Dispel Scroll. And then another Skink Priest, and he has the Cloak of Feathers, and uh, Lore of Heavens, and he rolled up Wind Blast. Then for Core, I have a unit of 25 Saurus Warriors with the Musician and Standard Bearer. Four units of 10 Skink Skirmishers, just plain. Uh, actually no, Champion in each and every one of them. And then for Special, I have two Stegadons. They're exactly the same, although one looked like a baby. And then I have a unit of 25 Temple Guards that guards Lord um, Croak, Champion Musician, and then Banner of Swiftness. And then finally, two units of three Targon Riders. Lizardman turn one, um, no charges, so the movement phase was basically moving the entire army up a bit, except for the Terranons on both sides. They got this far because I vanguarded up, so now they're approaching the flanks and hopefully get into the trebuchets in the next turn. On to Winds of Magic and Shooting. Lizardman turn one, uh, magic phase and shooting for magic uh, because of Lord Croak, I don't have so many spells, so I got off Vistan's Wild Form on the Saurus Warriors, and then uh, Windblast was dispelled. Shooting, nothing happened. The uh, Pterodons didn't hit anything, and neither did the uh, Stigadons. Over to Britannia. I only had one charge, the Grail Knights, into the Skinks. Uh, I got a fail charge. Then I made a swift reform with the Knight's Errant to face his Pterodons coming to kill my War Machine. And then I just pivoted up both the units to face uh, the Stegadon and uh, Lord Croak. 
the bowmen stand still. They will probably die or the war machine now. Now it's on to winds of magic and shooting. Uh, in the shooting and magic phase, these bowmen fired at the skinks. Nothing happened. These bowmen killed two skinks over there. Then I tried with both, both my trebuchet to kill his pterodons. The first one inflicted one wound and the second one uh, did one wound as well. So one died and they failed their panic test. In the magic phase, they didn't get, get anything off. He used the dispel scroll on the ember spear and dispelled throne of vines with his dice. Uh, now it's on to Lizardman turn two. Lizardman, end of movement phase, turn two. I charged with my pterodons into the trebuchet on the left. And that was my only charge. And then I moved everything up, the skinks up here to block. Same here. Moved up the rest of the army and then flew with my skink priest with cloak of feathers. He has a lot of juicy targets within 12 inch here. On to winds of magic and shooting. So we're doing the magic phase separately. Um, I cast the deliverance of Itza from Lord Croak through this uh, skink priest that flew in the middle of his army. Miscast it and uh, killed off three Grey Knights, four Knights Errant, Knights Errant, two Knights of the Realm, Knights of the Realm, and then two Say. Knights of the Realm, and then two wounds on the trebuchet. Uh, and then from the miscast, it was only a strength six, strength six hit on the King Priest and on Lord Croak. Uh, the one on Lord Croak was saved because of the special rules. But then no more spells was cast because I lost six dice from the power pool. On to shooting. So my turn to uh, combine shooting and close combat. For shooting, not Thing much really happened. The skinks killed two archers, uh, and actually the other skinks here uh, killed off one Grail Knight. But then nothing else happened with the Stigad one or the rest of the skinks. And then for close combat, the Terradons killed the uh, Trebuchet and then overran off the table, so they're now away from the charge arc from these knights errands, and we'll come back in my next turn. On to Britannia turn two. Charges to declare the Grail Knights into his kings. He made us stand and shoot and uh, killed one. And also the Knights of the Realm here charging to the skinks. Otherwise, he just reformed as you see. Just to hopefully get some charges next turn. Now it's on to Winds of Magic and shooting. In the shooting phase, I killed a couple of skinks, so they fled over here with the archers. And the trebuchet aimed for the Stegaron, but he missed. And in the magic phase, I tried to cast Throne of Vines with my level 4. Got double ones, so she lost concentration. But unfortunately, I used uh, the level 2 and cast Amber Spear. And uh, I was a bit lucky and managed to kill the Stegaron. Now it's on to close combat. The Grey Knights uh, killed the Skinks and overran, as you see, or rather pursue. And over here, they killed the Skinks and overran, as you see. Now it's on to Lizardmen turn 3. Lizardman end of movement phase turn 3. I had a successful charge here with my Saros warriors into the flank of the Grail Knights and then I completely fucked up this charge. Um, I charged the um, Knights, Knights, of the Knights of the Realm. He fled a very short distance. I would have caught him but it was an impossible charge because of the tower and my skinks that were up there so I, I fucked it up and they stayed in a quite bad position. And then I moved up my Stead one. I moved up the skinks to block this charge here. I flew my little priest in the middle of his army again. And I actually rallied the skinks over here and moved them away from the archers. And the Terradons came back and are now facing the trebuchet for a next turn charge. On to Winds of Magic and shooting. So then turn three, Winds of Magic and uh, shooting. I don't remember what I rolled up for uh, the winds, but First I failed to cast Deliverance of Itza, but then because of his special rule he can cast it as many times as he wants, so I cast it again from my Skink Priest that was here. Another miscast, killed two archers and did two wound on the uh, trebuchet, but nothing else, so uh, not as good as last turn. And the uh, result of the, of the oh, irresistible man. force was that uh, the Skink Priest died. Uh, and then I lost all the remaining of my power dice. And I think that was it, on to close combat. For close combat, the only thing we had was the Saurus Warriors into the Grail Knights. 
There wasn't a wound done on either side, but because of the flank charge and the additional ranks, I won combat and then actually caught him when he fled with my pursuit. On to uh, Britannia, turn three. At turn three, the only charge I had was the Knight's Errant into his Stegodon. And then I just uh, shuffled around this a bit and I managed to rally the other Knight Pass. Now it's on to shooting and uh, Winds of Magic. I uh, rolled up seven dice, tried to throw off vines with the two dice, but I got a one and a two, so I failed once again. And then my beast mage was over here and couldn't cast anything. For shooting I missed everything, and in the close combat I did one wound to the Stegodon, but he's stubborn. So he's stuck around. Now it's on to Lissaren turn four. Lissaren movement phase turn four. Uh, I charged my Terrans into the flank of his Knights of the Realm. And then I reformed my Sars Warriors to come back into the main battlefield. Moved up the Temple Guard unit with Lord Croak a bit. Moved my other Skink Priest character into the Centrum. And then moved my other Skinks up to the flank here. On to Winds of Magic and Shooting. Uh, Lissam in turn 4, Winds of Magic and Shooting. Uh, I got a 12 dice power pool from Winds of Magic. And I spammed Deliverance of Itza with the Skink Priest 6 times. One was dispelled with a um, Dispel Scroll. And he didn't manage to dispel a single other one with his die. So in the end, 5 Knights Errant died. And 8 Knights of the Realm. Yeah, that was a good magic face. And then for shooting, yeah, nothing really happened. I killed two of his archers with my skinks. On to close combat. End of Lissalman turn four. Close combat. The uh, Taladon managed to do one wound on the uh, wizard. Received three wounds back. Lost combat by one, but managed to hold. And then he did a uh, reform after combat. On to Britannia turn four. Yeah, turn four. Just moved around the archers here. These are still in combat. And the other knights unit went around the building here. The archers also went up. Now it's on to Winds of Magic and Shooting. Turn four. Um, yeah, in the magic phase I only got off Throne of Vines. And I also got off Savage... No, um, the Ember Spear on his uh, level one. But uh, <laughs> I only did one wound. And otherwise nothing happened in the shooting phase, scattered off with the trebuchet. Now it's on to close combat here. In the close combat phase I killed the Terradon riders and reformed as you see. Now it's on to Lizardman, turn 5. Lizardman end of movement phase turn 5. I chickened out a bit and backed up, um, seeing how the points are at the moment. I uh, just moved my skinks here to fire and hopefully charge on the trebuchet. And then everything else just backed up. On to Winds of Magic and shooting. In turn 5, for uh, Winds of Magic, I cast uh, the Itza spell three times, four times. It all, only got off once, um, but uh, and it killed a couple of archers, one knight of the realm, and did one wound on the trebuchet. And then for shooting, the skinks didn't manage to do a single wound. The skinks over here killed five archers. And then the Stegadon's giant uh, bolt thrower actually managed to do two wounds on his lord. On to Britannia turn five. Turn five. Tried to charge with the Knights of the Realm onto his skink priest, but I failed. The lord went out on his own to kill the Stegadon. My level 4 Prophetess went up here to be able to cast Dwellers, hopefully on that unit. And uh, yeah, now it's on to Winds of Magic and Shooting. In your turn 5, the first glimpse of light, uh, cast Dwellers on his uh, big unit he here and uh, killed Lord Croak. Also cast Awakening of the Woods on the same unit, I don't think I killed anyone with that, but maybe sure. one or two. Yeah. And uh, cast Flesh to Stone on my Lord here. So. With the lore attribute, I healed him up to full wounds and she got one wound as well. I got a direct hit with the trebuchet and killed a couple of more. 
Uh, yeah, now it's on to clo this close combat. Close combat, nothing happened. No wounds on either side. And he's stubborn and made the leadership test. Now it's on to the last turn for Lissadna. Turn 6. Uh, charged the trebuchet with the skinks. And then charged his lord with my Saurus unit. Uh, besides that I tried to rally the priest but failed so he doesn't count for victory points. Moved up the skinks to try and finish off the archers. Moved my BSB out of the Temple Guard unit, so we can't get the Dwellers off on both of them. And that's it. On to Shooting and Winds of Magic. The magic, since my priest is still fleeing, I couldn't cast any spells, but I managed to remove the uh, Throne, of Throne of Vines on his level 4 wizard. And then, for shooting, Skinks killed off two, so at least he requires double ones to rally that unit. On to Close Combat. Last uh, turn for Lizardman, combat phase. Um, the combat here with his lord. No wounds on either side, but because of the flank charge and ranks, I won combat and then I caught him when he fled. Uh, and that was it. And now on to Britannia, turn six, last turn of the game. Last turn for Britannia. I tried to charge the knights into his. Temple guards, but I failed, and otherwise nothing much to do. I just went down with the prophetess and cast dwellers, killed ten of the Saurus warriors. We didn't bother to take them off the tree because <laughs> it's over now. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. One in fifty games is is the dice, dice, and I think this was one of those games for me. Um, I think the turning point was probably when I didn't manage to cast any spells until turn three uh, with my life mage. So. Anyway, it was a fun game and it uh, yeah, kind of caught up a bit in the end. But uh, hopefully next time I can avenge Moussillon and we can take back the pride for Britannia. Uh, after calculating the points, uh, actually Britannia it was, uh, it was a draw between uh, the Lissabon and Britannia. We're doing Swedish comp and I, ha I had a comp score of 13 and he had a comp score of 12. So I get, gained 100 victory points from that and uh, in the end it was 40 points difference. So. Yeah, that's Swedish come for you. Alright, see you next time.